output from the vestibular nucleus goes directly to motor neurons. That's, that's really unusual. It's really unusual to not have a lot more of a conversation within the central nervous system before you get to motor neurons. Uh, for the vestibular nucleus, it goes directly to motor neurons. So what motor neurons? The motor neurons that control the extraocular muscles. So we're having, we have disynaptic, one synapse in the vestibular nucleus and one synapse in the, in the cranial nerve nucleus that controls the extraocular, uh, that contains the extraocular motor neuron, and then we get to movement. It's a disynaptic uh, reflex uh, that we have using vestibular information. And that reflex is called the vestibular ocular reflex. So the, it, the input is vestibular, the output is a movement of the eye. We're going to look at that in some detail, and it just shows you that the, uh, that the vestibular system is really a slave to the motor system. The other outputs from the vestibular nucleus go also to, directly to motor neurons that control neck, neck musculature, and that supports what's called the vestibulocolic reflex. If you've ever seen, there's a, a video of um, a goose uh, with a Diana Ross song, and as the person moves the body in to dance along with the Di Diana Ross song, the head stays completely steady. That's the vestibulocolic reflex. So moving the head, the eyes are fixed within the head, and so that serves the same part purpose, the vestibulocolic reflex and vestibulocular reflex all both serve to stabilize gaze. We'll look at, at that in some detail, um, but the important point here is that while we have these direct connections to extraocular muscles, we have extremely indirect connections up into areas that are going to support perception, so areas in neocortex. It goes through, in fact, ventral posterior medial, the same area that gets information from the face, also gets information from the vestibular system. It ends up in, in, um, in a part of cortex that's very close to somatosensory cortex, and it gives us a sense of spatial, spatial orientation, but a sense that is not a particularly per, uh, conscious perception. When that perception goes wrong, there's a great disturbance, we, feel, we don't like it, it doesn't feel good, we probably feel nauseated, we may vomit, and we also uh, tend to feel anxious when the vestibular system is not giving us the right si signals, the sensory signals, perceptive signals. Okay, so, but the, the motor output is, is short latency, uh, very direct in contrast to the sensory output, which is very indirect, really doesn't happen much of the time. So we're gonna seamlessly move from the vestibular system now to gaze control.